Hey guys, so you think you found an amazing girlfriend and you're wondering, could she be the one? Could she truly be the one for you? So how do you know if she's truly the one for you? Now, if you've taken my Wake Up To Love program, you probably already know the answer to this question. But if you haven't taken my program, then you need to be careful. If you've been burnt in the past, you know what I'm talking about. It's easy to be fooled by our emotions and fall head over heels in lust when it's not really love. Let's review the five biggest signs she's the one. If you're new to my channel, my name is Anna Jorgensen. Welcome to Just The Tip. Now you don't have to have all of these signs, but the more you have, the more likely that she truly is the one for you. So number one, you both want what's best for each other, even if that means it's not staying together. I know that's a big one. Not every, that's a pretty rare one, but if you've got that, that's a pretty good sign that she's truly the one for you. Number two, you both feel like you're the lucky one for having the other. So she thinks she's lucky to have you and you think you're lucky to have her without being needy or codependent. Number three, this one's important. You have compatible beliefs, values, and long-term goals. Doesn't mean they have to be exactly the same, but they're compatible. Now this one may seem obvious, but there's an awful lot of people out there who get together and fail to recognize when they're not compatible until it's way too late. You rush in because of attraction and chemistry and you think that that's going to be enough and then you fall in love and you think that's going to be enough for long-term success, but it's not. For example, you want kids as soon as possible. She doesn't even want kids. You're hoping that she'll change her mind. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What if she doesn't change her mind? What if it's the other way around? What if you don't want kids for another 10, 20, maybe never, but she wants kids? um like tomorrow that's not gonna work and she might even trick you if you're not going to agree so be careful another example she wants to live in the city but you want to move to the country or a small town as soon as possible or vice versa you know you'd be okay without her but you can't imagine life without her by your side this is not the same as you'd be completely lost and crumbling in the corner if you broke up. No, 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 no. <laughs> if that's the case, then that's not really love. That's neediness, codependency, and insecurity. And if that's the case, then you definitely need to work on yourself. And yes, my Wake Up To Love program will help you with that because it will help you learn how to become the kind of man who is never needy again. And if you kind of know you need this, but you don't know where to start, well, my program is a perfect place for you. Number five, you feel like you're a better man and want to become a better man just by being with her. She inspires you, not because she asks for anything, not because she tries to motivate you, just because your internal sense of being with her makes you want to become your best self. And this is not to be confused with feeling motivated to improve yourself because you actually feel unworthy of her you actually just feel you want to impress her by becoming your best self without any insecurity as a motivation. For example, let's say you are living together and she wants new appliances, but they're not in the budget. And she's actually working a few extra hours or maybe budgeting and cutting back on spending on some other things so she can get to those appliances sooner. In other words, she's contributing and it might be a handbag. It might be anything, anything she wants. Let's just use something that costs money in this example. So you put in a few extra hours or budget somewhere else so that you can contribute to getting those appliances because you want to make her happy. It's okay to want your partner to be happy. She should be doing the same things for you. And if she is, that's a good sign because then that means she also wants to be her best self for you. Now, if you've got at least three of these signs, that's a pretty good indication that she might truly be the one for you. Thanks for being here and God bless.